sublet it for your approval. A dimension of sight and sound. Look out. There's a post-it up ahead. You're all about to enter the nightstand zone. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, folks, I'm sorry if I scared you. That's what we in the business call a comedy spoof or send-up of the old Twilight show hosted by the late Rod Stewart. <laughs> folks, what do we know about the paranormal? It's all so secret. Well, tonight I'm going to lift this veil of secrecy. And our first guest has a story that will shock and amaze you. Please give a big nightstand welcome to Stephanie. Welcome to Nightstand, Stephanie. Now, why, why are you here tonight? I'm here because I've had a paranormal experience. Funny, they look pretty normal to me. <laughs> Forgive me, that's some comedy. Excuse me. Please, please continue. Well, it all started when my husband died on our honeymoon. I know the feeling. No, Dick. He died prematurely. What? I had a lot in common with this guy. On our honeymoon night, I was doing a little strip tease for him, and he had a massive heart attack. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Now, listen, this is, this is crucial to the story. When your husband was having this massive heart attack and you were doing this strip tease, what were you not wearing? Dick, we were never able to consummate our marriage. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, but you know, look at the bright side. Had he not died, we would have never met that day in the cemetery. <laughs> See, folks, I was there doing my power skipping. Have you tried this shit? Power skipping as a workout? Oh, it's terrific. Really gets the heart going. Really. You really get the back cardiovascular all worked up, worked up, real, real good sweat. So, uh, uh, Stephanie, what were you doing that day at the cemetery? I was visiting my husband's remains. Oh, of course, of course. But you know, Stephanie, when you were standing over the grave that day, you looked like you lost your best friend. I did, Dick. <laughs> of course, again. Um, <laughs> So let me ask you, uh, uh, how long is it going to be till you're going to want to start dating again? Well, it, it's only been nine days since he died. Well, I'll check in with you next week. <laughs> now, uh, I want to get to the really scary part because you claim that your husband's spirit has left his body and entered another body. Is that right? Yes, his best pal, Buddy. Well, as luck would have it, we happen to have Barry's pal with us tonight. Come on out, Buddy! I can see that you and Buddy are very close. The funny thing is, when he was Barry's dog, he didn't even like me. Now, all he wants to do is lick me. <laughs> but, uh, 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 Stephanie, have there been other ways that Barry's been trying to contact you, doggy style? Dick, it's really weird. He started sleeping on Barry's side of the bed. He watches all of Barry's favorite TV shows. And last night, while I was having dinner, he ate my taco. <laughs> I'm absolutely convinced that my husband's spirit is trapped inside this dog's body. And folks, that's why we've invited one of the world's most respected authorities in the field of psychic phenomenon here tonight. Unfortunately, he wouldn't accept our collect call. <laughs> so instead, I booked a guest who may not be a respected authority, but he's always available. He knows a whole bunch about the paranormal, and at one time was an opening act for the Oak Ridge Boys. <laughs> Please welcome the one, the only, the astounding Andy. <laughs> That's astounding. Thank you. <laughs> now... Welcome, Astounding Andy. Now, on your public access TV show called This Old Haunted House, <laughs> you made a claim that you think everybody has some psychic ability. You're absolutely right, Dick. I have here a card. Yeah. Do you have any idea what's on the other side? No. No is the correct answer. <laughs> That's astounding. Thank you. 
But tonight, we've got to crack Stephanie's problem. You see, she will not start dating until her dead husband is gone. Well, Dick, in order to do this, we have to channel Barry's spirit from Buddy's body. And you're able to do this? Well, of course. Why do you think they call me the English channeler? <laughs> Why is that, Andy? <laughs> Never mind, Dick. Now, Stephanie, is this going to be okay with you? Yes, I need to talk to Barry, and I know he's inside this dog's body. I think you're right, Stephanie. Just one look at this canine, and it's obvious he's possessed. <laughs> I will need complete silence in order to act as a human conduit. Well, if anybody can do it, you can. <laughs> now, buddy, I want you to relax. Let your thoughts go free. Together, we're about to enter the heretofore known as the after calling on the spirit of Barry to leave Buddy's body and to enter mine. Join me. Walk towards the light. Merge our souls. Enter me. <laughs> Andy, 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 are you okay? Has Barry entered you? Who's Andy? I, I, I'm Barry. Hello, sweetheart. Sorry about the honeymoon. Barry, is that you? Yes really me. Hey, that's weird. Andy and Barry have the same accent. <laughs> no, I've seen this on television. Andy's not here right now. Barry has entered his body so that I can communicate with him. That's astounding. Thank you. <laughs> but really, Stephanie, you must listen to me. A anything, Barry, tell me. Well, the time has come for you to move on to to start dating again, to get back on that saddle and, and once again, ride that pony. Really? Y you want me to start seeing other men? Absolutely. Oh, I have to leave you now. Barry, no, wait. I'm going back into Buddy's body. No, Barry, Barry. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye. No, you can't leave. <clears throat> well, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Barry entered you. You didn't feel it? Uh, but Stephanie, you know what we've learned here? We've learned that Barry, Barry has freed you. It's now time for you to get on with your own life. So uh, with that in mind, um, you feel like having a little dinner tonight? Dick, why would I have a steak when... I can have a hot dog at home. Come on, Barry. I've got something you can fetch. Andy, can you believe that? She took her dog over me? I know, and you're the one who had a bone for her. What? Why, that's astounding! Thank you! Okay, when we come back, we'll have more fun with the dead. Stick around. Hi, were you born without nipples? You can be a guest on Nightstand. Give us a call.